Hello, this is Mrs. Bratcher here, and in this lesson we're going to learn how to style lists. For starters, we're going to put an internal style sheet in. That goes in the head tag. Internal style sheets always beat external, but external are the best, and inline beat internal. First thing I'm going to do is put my selector of body because I want to style my background. I'm going to add the property of background color. I prefer that you guys use a color scheme generator instead of just choosing a color. So make sure you pull up the same color scheme generator that you have been using so that all your colors look good and close off that curly brace. We now want to style your unordered list so I'm going to start by putting a UL curly brace. Next thing I'm going to do is add my property, start typing list and we're going to choose list style type and here's where you can choose what type of bullet point that you want and if you're not sure what it looks like you can just go through and choose different ones. Then we're going to style our ordered list. You're going to go up here and close off that curly brace. Put an OL as your selector. Then your property will be list style type. And you need to choose whether you want to do Roman numerals, numbers, letters. So I'm going to do lower Roman. And close off that curly brace and the last thing we're going to do is style our term so I'm going to do a DT and then we're going to change the color of that DT to red and you can choose whatever color you want and we're going to change the font size to make it stand out a little bit more to 22 pixels and close the curly brace and once I made sure that I had my ordered list as an OL, it now shows up as a Roman numeral. My unordered list I changed to square, and it now shows up as square bullet points. And my DT shows up red, which I might want to consider a new color because that doesn't look very good. But selector goes first, then property, then value.